Yeah. You see this? This? This is... That's just not good. Understood. Back to another episode of Let's Screw This Up um, with your host, as always, Mr. Kiwi. Um, as you can see, we're in Jurassic World Evolution. Um, I actually lost the footage for Bully. Um, I was trying to get it all squared away. Um, and as when I uploaded it, it got corrupted and it shit happened. Um, so we're just gonna move on. We'll probably go back to Bully eventually. Um, I, I know I've been gone for a while. Some stuff was going on in my personal life. Nothing major. Just had to take some time off. Um, so I got uh, the Jurassic World here um, from my Humble Bundle uh, Choice subscription. Um, I got all the DLC. Um, I've played around with it a bit, just enough to, to kind of get my feet wet and figure out what exactly I need to do um, so I don't look like a complete idiot when we're <laughs> working on this thing. Um, it is a lot of fun. Um, so we're going we're gonna to start with the campaign here. Um, I mean, it's uh, this is basically Roller Coaster Tycoon with dinosaurs, which is awesome. Um, I have turned off the licensed music. I just don't want to put up with the legal ramifications on that. So we're probably just going to be hearing a lot of ambient, you know, background noise and um, probably just me talking. Um, there's a lot of actual voice acting um, in the game. Um, Jeff Goldblum reprises his role as Ian McDowell uh, or Ian McDonald, right? Shit. Uh, <laughs> McDonald's the other actor. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna start here. We're gonna go from there. Um, and yeah, I want to show you guys some stuff because I found some stuff really funny and really cool. Uh, otherwise, the game looks fucking beautiful. Um, so without further ado, let's hit it. Uh, yeah, I start start a new game. Blah 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 blah. So here we Hello. go. May I say welcome? My name is Dokken Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Thanks, Jeff Goldblum. Love the intro, by the way. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. Mm, yes, yeah, quiet. I'm Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond Creation Lab. So, start... We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, so we'll have options later as we go here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so we'll build this here. Try to maximize some space. Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. Ay, mi amigo. That's really about all the Spanish I know. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. Now comes the real test, incubating a dinosaur. dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. So yeah, um, one of the things I, I'm not a huge fan of um, is the buildings won't operate, period, unless there's a path connecting them to the main path here, which I think is dumb, but I'm not in charge. Um, so yeah, and the other thing is, um, when you have a building selected, 
um, you can't uh, move the camera any anywhere other than targeting the building. So it's not like, oh, I want to check if, you know, something else is done or, you know, I get an alert and then I want to go scroll over to a different part of the island. Like, I fucking can't. That's the part I don't like. Other than that, it's great. <laughs> All right. So this is the guy. I, I'm nicknaming them Stews because I'm not going to stay Strathiomimus, like, at all professionally. <laughs> so, yeah. The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Thanks, Come Jeff Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the the last time. There's always a last time. And a next. Always. Um, okay, so yeah, when we get to another point, I want to show you guys something I thought was fucking hilarious. Um, we'll, we'll get there. But yeah, look at him. Life, it begins. The most precious moment. The result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done, I guess. So yeah, we can also actually look at their stats, which is I thought was interesting. Um, and they come out of the gate actually needing to drink some water and eat food. Um, and we can't quite build a feeder yet, so we got to go through the next part of the tutorial before we get to that point. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. All right, so I'm going to choose security because I want to show you guys something I thought was pretty this funny. This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. All right, so we'll build that one there. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. Yeah, if I can, I don't want to talk over the the guys. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. I just get some new fucking division heads at that point, but that's just that's you know that's just me. All right, so we got to build some some feeders here, otherwise our dudes won't eat. Well done, and you'll notice absolutely no hint of sarcasm, unless you listen real closely. <laughs> So what I meant to say is that completing that contract has raised your standing, your reputation, if you will, with the security division. Right this there. means they'll be willing to give you more difficult missions. Okay. Lambert here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. <clears throat> the once over, Ooh, then me. let me know if you're interested. All right, so yeah, we start the mission. Um, so we need some Eds or ed Ediomimus. Um, Glad to have you on board. Uh, yeah. As you can imagine, the animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. 
but I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. So, um, help comes up like this. I'm going to need you to extract enough DNA Keep from talking. fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. Um, help comes up like this. It gives you some next buttons. The fossil center Jesus lets Christ. you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Also, this guy talks Exciting. a lot. Okay. So, yeah. Fossils are here for, you know, each genome of your dino. You hit next. Viability. Uh, sometimes they bring back stuff you can sell. It's cool. Okay. Uh, so we should... Yep, there we go. So we have a bit of Ed genome right now. We're going to extract that DNA. Uh, we're going to also need some more. An expedition center will allow you to send dig teams uh. around the world in search of new dino fossils. <laughs> DNA can be extracted from these fossils, which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. For a second there, I thought I said dig teams. that's our true lifeblood. I was like, yeah, sometimes they're dicks. Okay, uh, Expedition Center. So this is where you're going to send people out to go for fossils. And we'll take a look at the map. View map. All right. So we have some options. That's nobody who we're looking for yet. We are looking for the id. There we go. Good. Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the Ooh, fossil helicopter. center for extraction. Um, so one of the things I do particularly like about the game too also is um, you can just hover over the building and your job see is simple, really. what's going Create on. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means uh -huh. you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. Yeah. There here comes the rain. Um, weather seems to be fairly realistic um, and frequent. Unfortunately. Um, so yeah, so here's what I was talking about with the bar. You can see it, um, you know, under the, the power consumption is the progress they're making. Which is a nice little, uh, little way to look at things. Um, let's see what other stuff have we got? Uh, nothing major yet. Eventually we'll get to these guys, and uh, they are big fucking carnivores, that's for sure. Um, research panel. Um, all kinds of stuff we can. So, I mean, some stuff. Building upgrades. There we go. Research allows you to improve and expand multiple aspects of your facility. I mean, it's fucking research. What else is new? Um, modified genomes. Uh, some divisions center lets you improve your park in require reputation ways. to meet. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. Yep, all kinds of fun stuff. Um, I mean, nothing we're really looking for just yet. Database. All kinds of different stuff we can look up. This is kind of your overview. Yeah, right now we're losing money, but that's because technically the park's not open. Because um, we're in tutorial land and we can't open the park. There's a buddy down there. Let's do one. Wandering around. So our, our exposition should be coming back just about now. Yep. There's the helicopter. Uh, so when they land, we'll have more fossils. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. 
That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. So Amber is obviously the best one because otherwise why would you make a game about the movie? Um, fossils help, but the Amber is the good stuff, so we're going to track this DNA. This is what they were talking about, about getting um, fossils that you can sell. It's just a... I believe it's just an element, just a chunk of fossilized rock. Bam. Sell it, and you're good. And then we'll extract this one. Um, the higher the viability, obviously, the less of a chance you will get of losing a dinosaur. Which is nice. There's views, map. The map's handy. Um, sometimes you'll get alerts about stuff that's going on, and you're like, oh shit. You know what's happening where. There's our dino. Um, we, we'll get vehicles when we have a ranger team and stuff, but not worried about that right now. Hey, he's viable. Gotta be over 50% before you can try. Okay, We're at 60. next you'll need to incubate the animal in a Hammond Creation Laboratory before releasing and housing it in an enclosure. You'll also want to make sure we've got an ACU presence on this island. Did he... Okay, they're doing it right now. Yeah, your finances will come up every once in a while, too. Once again, tutorial land. Doesn't matter. Uh, so when we hit it, we'll be in an extra 3%, which is nice. So 63% is better than 60. Um, I do like to build the ACU here first. Because um, if we need to... Uh, you're gonna need it. It should be kind of a priority. Build them up. Take a drink. I've just received yeah. reports of a new contract that's available. Looks like the kind of thing you can handle. I know we're already to one star. I think we'll be able to hit that fairly quickly. When we add some more dinos, we'll get some money. Yeah, they'll come up with random weird missions. It's like release a dinosaur with an extra rating or, um, you know, release a dino with a better attack. And you're like, okay, whatever. So, um, I will admit buildings are built fairly quickly. Um, there's no speed up or slow down time. Um, so you have to react fairly quickly if shit hits the fan, but, I mean, it's not bad otherwise. So, yeah, we've got... We're gonna have to probably build a, another power plant sooner rather than later. So, give us the info. I just want to get this over with, because I had to click these guys again. Really? Now you're not going to fucking do it? God damn it. Alright. Well, let's get an Ed going here. Yeah, obviously the bigger the dinosaur, the more expensive they get. You fall low on the money real quick. Um, so we also need to research um, the reload speed, which I believe is building upgrade... For, yep, yeah, asset containment unit, um, reload speed. Alright. Release the Ed. He's a big one. <clears throat> Research is complete, as you can see. Right. This next bit is gonna sound a little crazy because, frankly, oh, it yeah. is. But we are gonna encourage one of the dinosaurs to breach our containment grid. We'll then react and see if our procedures and personnel are up to the challenge. Yes. So at this point, I'd like to take back everything I just said about this guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
All right, so. The ACU, or Asset Containment Unit, should be your first port of call to bring down a rampaging dinosaur. Wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, you see this, this, this is, that's just not good. Understood. Okay, we have our runner. Time to tag him and bag him. We're using less than lethal, but remember, that dinosaur doesn't know this is just supposed to be a drill. So watch your back. While I understand the need to keep our security as sharp as possible, this is not the way I would go about doing it. If you have a problem with how we keep you safe, Doctor, I'm happy to discuss it at a later time. Got him. Right now, we have our hands full. Oh, he's sleeping. Look at this sleepy little dinosaur. Well, I guess big dinosaur. You'll he's taking up like a 20 <laughs> offshore transport team to safely move this dinosaur back to its enclosure. Okay. I'm gonna move him back to there. To be collected. Alright, so yeah, so they'll pick this dude up and we'll toss him on back over, well not toss him back over the fence, they will pick him up and then gently encourage him to be back over the fence. See, isn't that cool? So yeah, that's the this whole mission is basically what do you do when shit hits the fan? That's what it's supposed to teach you. Delivery complete. Yay, that was exciting. Yay, mission complete. And a million. And that the job finished. True and square. Look, the thing is, we're still learning where our boundaries are when it comes to keeping these animals under control. God knows they're working out ways to exploit our weaknesses. <laughs> yes, we'll find out who gets to the limits of our abilities first. Us or them. Ever vigilant. And that's always been the challenge of the... Jurassic Industrial Complex. Exploitation versus security. The immense potential for profit and for violence. Dun dun dun. Alrighty guys, we'll, uh, we'll end this recording here. Um, hey, I'm Isaac. Well, I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. So yeah, as I was saying, we're going to end the recording here, guys. Um, I'll accept this real quick. Um, like, subscribe, all that YouTuber crap. Um, thanks again for watching. Have a good one, and stay shiny.